location of my centroid, I now declare okay, that over here, this will be my what? Width direction. And over here, this will be my depth direction. Okay. So we're going to divide this. So it's going to be section. One, two, and three. And then we will have our width and depth. So for section one, the width is 10. The depth is what? 60. Two is the same. Three, the width is 30. The depth is 10. Okay. So this will be equal to 600, 630, 300. And then we do the summation at the end, 600, uh, 1500. Then we're going to look at Y bar. So this is 60 divided by 2, 30. 60 divided by 2. Why this one we don't add? Because the datum, they share the same datum point, right? So that's why you just divide by 2. And that's 10 divided by 2. This is equal to 5. And then finally, you have W, D, Y. So 600 multiplied by 30. So 18,000. 18,000. 1500 okay then you add all of them it's 37 so now we do a y bar okay will be equal to 37 500 divided by 1500 okay so 375 so it's equal to 25 millimeters from the bottom, from the datum. Okay, so the datum for this case is enough. Now, if you want to do your datum from the top, the answer will still be the what? Be the same. Okay. Okay. Now, do you want me to show you if we do the datum from the top? Anyone? I, I, you have the confidence or no? No, okay. So now I'm going to do the same thing. Right, so this is datum from the bottom. If we do datum from the top. Okay, so I'm going to copy this again. Oh, no need. So this one datum from the top. So I'm going to use different color. Okay, so datum now from the top. Okay. So datum from the top, the section, so the same section, I'll, I'll do the same section, right? So see the same, one, two, three, the same thing. So datum from the top, our WD will still be the same. Yes or no? Width and depth will still be the same, right? So this is 10, multiply by 60, is equal to 600, 10, multiply by 60, 600. And this is still the same, 30, multiply by 10, this also equal to 300. And then when we do the summation, okay, it's still equal to what? 1500, still the same. Where it's different, you see is the difference, okay? So everything's from the top, the Y bar, right? The first, the, the first two sections will be the same. So 600 divided by two, oh no, 60 divided by two, 30, 60 divided by two, 30. Now, number three is here now. What is this distance, right? 
So that distance will be equal to 60 minus by 10 divided by 2. So this will be equal to 55. Then you do your W, D, Y bar. Okay, so 600 times. So the same 18, 18, right? And then this one will be, uh, will be good to 300. So it's 16540. Right? So 18,000 times 2 plus 16500. Now this is good to 525. So your Y bar now will be equal to 52500 divided by 1500. So this will be equal to 52500 divided by 1500. It's equal to 35 millimeters. So what do I mean by that is equal to 35 millimeters? Okay. It's the same line. I'll, I'll tell you why. So this is from the top datum. Okay. The other one is from the bottom datum. Right, so we know the distance from here to here is 25 millimeters. From the top, okay, you use a different color. From the top, it will end up at the same point, 35 millimeters. Why is that? 35 plus 25 is equal to how much? 60, yes or no? 35 plus 25 is equal to 60. The entire depth is equal to what? 50 plus 10 is equal to what? 60. Same point. Okay, no difference. And then when you do your second moment of area, okay, either you take your datum from the top or from the bottom, the answer is still going to be the what? The same. Okay? So, I, I, now I'm not thinking anymore. Okay, so now I do uh, IZZ1. IZZ2, right? So it's equal to BD cube or with D cube over 12 plus by area Y bar minus small Y bar squared. Okay, so you have to apply this one. It's not just BD cube over 12. You have to compensate based on the what? Based on the global centroid. Okay, global is the overall centroid. Minus by the individual centroid. Okay, so IZZ1 is got IZZ2. Okay, so I'm, I'm uh, again, I'm going to do it with both numbers so you are comfortable. So we are going the first part we're going to take from from the datum from the bottom. Okay, then we do so. I just call this a general formula. This is your IZZ. Okay. So IZZ1 is equal to your IZZ for 2. Right. So this is equal to width is uh, 10 multiplied by 60 cube divided by 12 plus by your area, which is equal to what? Uh, 600. Multiply by uh, 25 minus by 30, right? 25 minus by 30, the whole thing squared. So this will be equal to uh, 10 times 60 power 3 divided by 12. Then you plus by uh, 600 times 5 times 5. So it's equal to 195. Millimeter four. Then we do IZZ for three. So the width is 30, 10 cube divided by 12 plus by 300 multiplied by 25 minus five squared. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm working this based on memory. Okay, divided by three, 
power of 10 divided by 12 plus 300 times by 20 times by 20 is equal to 122.5. Millimeter to power four. So IZZ is equal to twice of IZZ one plus by IZZ three. Right? So this is equal to twice of one nine five times ten to power three and then plus by one two two point five times ten to power three. So this is good to 195 power 3 times 2 plus 122.5 power 3. It's good to 512.5 okay. times 10 to power 3 millimeter to power 4 or 512.5 times 10 to power minus 9 meter to power 4. Now if we take the datum from bottom, okay, datum. from bottom, or from the top, sorry. Okay, so now we, we decide to pick the data from the top. Okay, so let me change my ink, so you know. So we are going to take the data from the top. Again, IZZ1. Is equal to IZZ2. The BD cube over 12 is the same. Okay, so 10. Okay, the, the 10. 60 cube over 12. The area is the same. Right, the Y bar now changes. Now the Y bar is what? The Y bar is 35. Okay, so 35. Minus by 30 squared. Okay. So 10 times by 60 power 3 divided by 12 plus by 600 times 5 times 5. So it's also equal to 195 times 10 to power minus 3. Uh, not minus 3, plus 3 millimeter 4. Okay. And then IZZ2, sorry, IZZ3, again, uh, B, the width, and the depth cube is the same. I should not rush, I should slow down. Give me another two minutes, okay, then you go for your break. 10 power 3, divided by 12, plus by A ratio 300. Now, right, now it's equal to 35 minus by what? Minus by this distance over here, which is 55 squared. Okay, so 30 times 10 power of 3 divided by 12 plus by 300 times by uh, bracket 35 minus 55 close bracket squared is equal to 122.5 times 10 to power 3 millimeter 4. So IZZ. Is equal to twice IZZ1 plus by IZZ3, right? And then this will be equal to twice. So it's exactly the same. Am I right? So what I'm trying to tell you is this. Do not worry whether you take your data from the top or from the what? Bottom. I've just shown you that the answer will be exactly the what? Same whether you take from the top or you take from the what bottom so what i propose we do now is we go for a break we come back at 15. are we okay anyone any objection for the break anyone okay okay i'm going to stop here and then we come back at 8 15. thank you <laughs>